I'm General Jim Amos of the United States Marine Corps, and it's my privilege to serve as the Commandant of the Marine Corps. When we celebrate Veterans Day, we recognize and honor all American men and women who have served in our nation's armed forces, both past and present. Among these group of veterans, there are some who have received special recognition for their extraordinary sacrifice. When a service member wears this medal, other service members give that individual great respect. This medal, the Purple Heart, is awarded only to those servicemen or women who were wounded or killed in action against a hostile or enemy force. The Purple Heart is perhaps the most unique of all military awards because it cannot be earned by exceptional service or achievement alone. It can only be earned through one thing, sacrifice. Pure and simple, this medal means that the wearer has been wounded in action against a hostile force. It's not so important to know what happened as much as it is to know that the person wearing the Purple Heart shed his or her blood to defend freedom, democracy, and the security of the United States. That's a big deal. The Purple Heart is the oldest issued medal in the United States military, dating back to the Revolutionary War when our first president, George Washington, was serving as commander of the Continental Army. Then, General Washington wanted a way to honor his soldiers' exceptional service and their gallant actions in the fight for our country's independence. Established officially on 7 August, 1782, this award was first known as the Badge for Military Merit. Back then, it was a hand-sewn piece of purple material cut in the shape of a heart and featured the word merit in the center, flanked by olive branches. In 1783, George Washington issued the only known badges for military merit to three sergeants in recognition for their meritorious actions during the Revolutionary War. For the next century and a half, this award faded into history and people forgot about it. And it wasn't until 1942, during World War II, that President Roosevelt officially established that the Purple Heart Medal be awarded to all service members who were wounded or killed in action in contact with the enemy. When I pin the Purple Heart Medal on our wounded warriors, it upholds the lineage of this important award. Understanding the history and meaning of the first military award, dating all the way back to our first president, is another way that we can honor and appreciate Veterans Day. As you celebrate Veterans Day this year, take time to think about the service and sacrifice of all military men and women that have served throughout the history of our great nation. All of their contributions in defense of our Constitution have resulted in the freedoms that we enjoy today.